Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last time we took some crew reports and messed up our orbital program to research the goo. So today, what are we going to do? I don't know, it all depends whether we can buy um, decouplers or not, to be honest. If we can get the radial decouplers, I may actually be going for the moon. Ah, uh, oh, ooh. oh, look at that, I can. Sweet, bye. Ta -da. Right, today, we're doing a moon program. Yeah, let, let's maybe get some radial things there and uh, can I afford this one? Oh, needs 20 I've got 16 okay so uh, we have better engines oh, some solid thrusters uh, we've also got nose cones that actually like actually help nowadays as opposed to the last stuff which just used to uh, add weight and no actual um, drag resistance um, Cool, and, and some, some um, winglets, which are always good. All right, well, let, let's go see what we can do. Okay, so first up, as always, we need to make our science pod. We have one of those. Um, we have one of those, because obviously we want to make it back down safe and sound, right? Yeah? Because um, the thing with the science stuff is that to get the maximum maximum bang for your science buck you need to get everything back home which is what we failed to do last time last time we popped these canisters on the bit underneath and then that got blown up and they disconnected and these aren't going on straight ah but yeah when it disconnected it all went horribly wrong does that look good there we go so science accounted for and we'll pop this on here uh, same way as last time, just give it a little jaunty upwards angle. There we go. Oh, I put two on. Didn't want two. I only wanted one. Jaunty upwards communicon. Communicatron. Uh, right, so I suppose now we're going to need some fuel to get us back home. Or perhaps the landing. this is a landing stage more than coming back home. Uh, so in that case we'll need some landing legs. Well, how many landing legs do you reckon we should have? Now I always go for a nice sort of four or three. Um, depends on how much impact I'm expecting to take. I'm going to go with this one this time. Looks good, right? 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 Looks fairly good. I think we can do wonders with that. Okay, so that's our landing platform. The next thing we need to do is make something that's going to take us from Kerbin orbit to the moon. Moon. Yeah, say that properly. Um, so, we're going to need a big old tank of fuel. And, well, not much thrust, but the ISP is quite good. But no, I think we're going to go for the thrust this to today. Um, so, there we go. That That's a landing stage and a rocket stage. Uh, an interplanetary stage. Interplanetary? Inter interplanetary body stage, why not? Oh, is our staging good so far? Because once again, we don't want everything going off at the same time. Alright, awesome. Now, let's make a lander on it. Have I made a sub-assembly yet? No, I haven't. Let's do that this time. Yay. Okay, so, sub-assembly is going to involve six bigger, big ones. Uh, no, not six, three. Six normal sized ones. Um, and next I need some sort of main lifting engine. And then, oh, uh, I can't asparagus yet, can I? I don't have the fuel pumps. Oh, maybe we can make it to the moon. Maybe we can't. Let's uh, pop a whole load of these on, as it's a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? As we can't asparagus, we're just going to have to go for one single, like, big push. So we'll pop this on here. Well, do they work? Oh, that does work. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, and then maybe one of these on top. And then one of these underneath. And uh, more thrust, maybe? Always more thrust. Okay. I'm not 100% convinced that this is going to work well. But we'll see. As long as it doesn't f f um, fall apart in orbit, I think we should be all right. Do you think? Do you think? As long as it doesn't travel apart in orbit, might be good. Might be good. Uh, and scrolling out to get a good look. 
Yeah, this looks moonworthy, surely. Um, I always seem to get this arrangement on the go, and that's never good for balancing on the first bit. So I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to pop these down here like this. Boom. And we're going to put these on the outside. Oh, did I not buy the big solid boosters? I'm sure I bought the big solid boosters. In fact, I am so sure, I'm going to go check and see what it is that I bought. Right, this is my Munlander. Mun. Mun Muncher. There we go. Um, we'll save it. We'll go back out. I am very confused at that. What's going on here? I thought I bought that. Oh, loading screens, really. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I confused myself. I wanted to buy it, but I didn't. Well, that's not very good, is it? Well, c'est la vie, as the Spanish say. Right, there we go. Bang! <laughs> is, is, do you think this is going to get us to the moon? Am I going to need more rockets? Do you reckon we can do the double Separatron business thing? Let's pop that all the way down there, not Separatron, double double stack of boosters solid boosters let's pop that like that now where's my center of mass what i really want is that to be taking effect when for the second for the second set of burners and then i take a copy of that and pop it down here like that right awesome so there's all them firing these bottom ones need to go at the same time as the engines ba boom they go there. Then they separate right there. Okay, I think I think that's it. I think that's staging, that's boosting, that's uh, everything I could possibly need to get me up there as quick as possible. Um, as I've got such a small rocket, I should be able to literally make it as quick as possible. I'm hoping. Do you hope? We all hope. Let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, I make a small prediction that I'm not actually going to make it to um, Kerb in orbit. Not Kerb in orbit. I'm going to make it to orbit. I'm not going to make it to the moon. Right there, go, go. Ah, oh, sweet, right. A little bit of uh, uncontrollable turning here. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I, I appear to be going a little bit off course. Looks like we're going for a uh, retrograde orbit, which is not at all what I want. Oh wow. Sorry, I am uh, I wish I could say fighting the controls. Um, but at the moment, oh hello, what's that over there? Who knows, it's 37 kilometers away. I don't, I really don't want to be pointing this direction. Oh, and I'm missing an engine. Hmm. Stop, revert, vehicle assembly. Now, will that big get bit cut out? That's the question. So, after that little bit of a, uh, a fail there, shall we um, think about how we're going to lower these down a bit so we can it all nicely on top of some actual like serious number of engines instead of just like the main one in the middle which will then break six symmetries six symmetry good eight symmetries kind of good we'll go for six though and then everything should be set up as it was yes no oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah 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 Okay, and here we go with my uh, not at all second launch, because I'm probably going to cut that last one out. Hey, small tweak to the way it stands, but it's looking good. Let's go. Power up and thrust. Now, obviously, the, the issue here is that we have no uh, asparagusing, as I say, so 
maybe, maybe not, we'll make it up. Uh, if this was all asparagus up, I would know for certain that we could make it to the moon. But as it is, we're just uh, powering ourselves with the power of Jeb's smile. I mean, look at, look at him. Yeah. Loving it as always. Right, what have we got on the view? It's definitely looking a bit more busy down there, isn't it? Oh, oh, is my rocket turning? Why is my rocket turning? Oh, it's spinning. That's all right. We can. Oh, didn't fire that. <laughs> uh -huh. um, in future, I would have preferred to. Oh, 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 oh. In future, I would have preferred them to be fired with the stage. Got a bit of a spin on the go again. Hopefully, we can just uh, power on through that. Doesn't, doesn't look too hopeful though, is what we said there. That, that, that's good. We're at the right time for the, the gravity lean, right? We'll drop them and get back under control. Hopefully. I, I, I said back under control. There's controlled. Something just broke. Did you hear that little tink noise? That to me normally signifies something's broken. Why are these burning at the same rate? Is that middle one not going? Uh, it was definitely going. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. It's going to burn through at almost exactly the same rate. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay, small issues with uh, controllability, but... Oh, pressed the wrong button. Let's uh, boost that back up. Let's see what my uh, orbital... Oh, stop. Stop indeed. Well, I say. Um, maybe we can uh, make this a bit of a better looking orbit. Something like that. I reckon. I reckon. Do you reckon? Uh, if we could bring this up to uh, about there 73, 79, 80 odd. And this has gone up to like hundreds, hasn't it? We don't want hundreds odd. Somewhere like that. Oh. Alright, well that's um, close to a circular orbit, so we'll take that as the winner there. Uh, so let's lean over our rocket and then we're going to have a minute or so of time warping to catch up to the correct position. Uh, I would be so happy when I get RCS. Though when I get RCS, no doubt I will mainly be doing uh, forgetting about it. Because this is something that I do a lot. Okay, uh, I'm not under acceleration. What? There we go. Um, so, with a 33 second burn, I'm going to start somewhere around 15 seconds, I reckon. I reckon, I reckon. And this should bring us into a lovely little burning orbit. Or if we watch this spin out and uh, hopefully extend out into a nice... Uh, I seem to be unable to control myself. Mainly because my staging's just clicked, doesn't it? Yeah, tomp. Now, if we can just get the last little bit of fuel out of this to circularize our orbit. And hopefully, now we are in. No, we're not in a circular orbit. Should we uh, try a little bit better? Make it more better good. Because more better good is the aim of the game. Go. Once this is circularized, at least enough to stop us hitting the atmosphere. 72, 73, 74. Just give it a, a little bit of an upwards push, I reckon. I'm hoping. I'm not particularly good with orbital dynamics. I may have mentioned this in the past. I just kind of do what I feel is right, and as we all know, that's not the way to play a Kerbal. Um, 83 is above the atmosphere. Awesome. Next question, where's the moon? 
Oh, that's uh, horribly uh, unaligned orbits there. Moon, set as target. Oh, look, I could have probably done it straight off like that. But, I'm going to have to do it from here. Because that's where my ascending node is. I always like to combine my uh, inclination burn with my getting the hell up to the right altitude burn. That's close enough. Whoop. Okay, so now I've got my two points. I can start playing around. Hey guys, just a little bit of a uh, post-production comment. I spent a lot of time mucking about with rather inefficient manoeuvre nodes here before eventually swinging around and finding the efficient one. So we're just going to uh, kind of skip through all that. Just like that. That looks like an almost perfect orbit. Sweet. Right. Well, after that stilted bit of conversational that bits there, let's try and uh, zoom around to the correct place burn our way up to the correct altitude, or at least the correct orbit. <coughs> and hopefully, go take some science from the moon, because obviously that is what this mission is all about. Moon science. Let's be honest, there's not much better science you can do. Perhaps dual science, everyone likes dual science. I think there's a little bit of a pun we can do there, where we take two science missions to duel and do the duel, the duel, duel mission. <laughs> ah, can't do Kerbal without a cup of tea. Okay, we're down to the last couple of seconds before the burn. And we're going to have to, uh, oh, now thrust. Uh, a little bit late, but that's alright. The nature of the game, I suppose. <laughs> okay, thrusting away. And a man of most thrustingness. Uh, 1.4, I reckon we can, if we just do this a little bit. It's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal. I reckon there was an ideal point just a little bit further back in this orbit. I saw it as we thrusted past. I was a little bit slow on the X there. For some reason I thought throttling down would be better than just trying to stop all my engines. Yeah, look at that. It's proper low periapsis there. Which is good. We'll go uh, check out that proper low periapsis. And hopefully this, what's left in this stage will be enough to uh, deal with me nicely. Let's watch the moon approach. Ah, plummeting! Well, kind of being thrown away at the moment. We'll be plummeting shortly. Here, yeah, this uh, short lead bloke is. I don't know. Whoa! Let's slow, slow, slow down. Whoa! Ease thyself, bro. So, I reckon something like that's a good parking orbit around the moon. I'm not sure if a parking orbit is what we want to go for straight for the landing, but I'm going to go for the parking orbit. And uh, to fuel efficiency, or maybe A for fuel efficiency, depending on which one I'm actually doing here. <laughs> uh, running through the different warps, trying to just get it down to a, a reasonable number of seconds before my next burn without screaming right past it. It needs to be one between a hundred and a thousand times. There we go. This looks like a good place. 34 seconds away from the ideal burn time. Burning. Oh, it's only going to take me a couple of seconds to get up to that speed. Okay. Or down to that speed. Hmm. Terminology that's being used for uh, normal ground-based travel. It's not really good when it comes to uh, orbital dynamics. Like, am I, am I slowing down to get into this orbit? Am I? Am I? Because like I'm thrusting into the orbit, so I'm obviously applying pressure. So I'm I'm kind of speeding up, if you will. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure you see the dilemma that I'm facing without me going into more. Oh, is my staging done? That's a shame. I was kind of hoping I could throw it into the uh, into the moon. 
Looks like we're going to have a bit of moon-based debris. I'm not sure how strong the decoupler is, but if I face this way, so thrusting forward would uh, would push my spacecraft into a higher orbit, but throwing this backwards will uh, hopefully push it somewhere a bit lower. Not low enough, of course. Oh no 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 no! Turn around again. <laughs> right. And uh, once we're there, good enough. Continue the burn. Did I not? No, I didn't. There we go. Well, as we're landing, we might as well land. Something along the lines of that. That's good enough for me. And all we're going to do now is fall towards that big ball of rock. Wherever that big ball of rock's gone, screaming around. There it is. All right. If we point somewhere like this, we uh, first let's get rid of this maneuver node. We don't need that clogging up our screen, do we? Right. Awesome. Ah! Uh, <laughs> was a little bit quick. <laughs> a little bit quick. Now, I'm traveling at half a kilometer a second and I'm 92 kilometers up. I have no idea what my uh, descent speed is, so I might do something like a quick save here. Yeah, I like to announce these things because I want to just like jump from quick save to quick save and go, look at me, I'm so great. Because that's just silly. Oh, oh uh, I think it's good enough good enough height to start thrusting I can see the rocks on the well I can't quite see the rocks on the moon that's a nice landing zone I seem to have uh, picked out for myself there um, perhaps now is a good time to be thrusting I've got hundreds of meters per second to, uh, to shed here and that ground is coming up pretty close um, did I mention how fast that ground's coming up oh wow uh, uh, maybe maybe four three Oh no, it's going to go badly, isn't it? So, um, 16 kilometers, far too late to start thrusting. <clears throat> Thankfully, I foresaw this small series of events coming up and I decided to uh, save it here. So, should we take it down to, oh, I don't know, 25, me uh, 25 kilometers and we'll start shedding speed there? Should be right, all right. Je Jeb's with me. He, he he he's well on plan. I mean, look at that smile. How could he not be on plan? Uh, Thirty-nine, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-three. That now sounds good. Let's let's just do that. Full pelt. Extend landing gear. And we're shedding speed. Awesome. Looks like we might even be able to shed enough before we hit the floor this time. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure what um, garden storage areas have to do with uh, losing speed all the time. No. Why, why is shedding shedding but you put stuff in a shed? I don't know. Weird way the English language works really, isn't it? Oh, ah. Stop my, stop my descent. My, or my anti-descent. I'm not going to have the fuel to get back. Oh no. Oh no, I spent too much fuel making sure I could get here. Wow. That was interesting. Um, see now, I would be thinking about some sort of rescue mission, but we can't rescue the science, and the science is actually quite important at this point in time. We may even have to revert this all the way back and start again. Which I don't really want to do, but it might might have to be done. Oh, woe is me. Um, 100 meters per second, we best start thrusting against gravity, do you think? Yeah, let's do that. I kind of want to land with the lightest bump. Of 
just trying to figure out how high we are, as always, is an issue. I didn't even put any lights up. Do we have any lights? Does this pod... Well, this pod doesn't have any lights, but does the space program itself have any lights? I don't think it does. Oh, we're going back up again. Well, that's a waste of fuel. That beautiful place to land, though. Look at that. Okay, final few meters to be crossed, and we are traveling at meters per second. For some reason, at a bit of a tilt for meters per second as well. And touchdown! Good work, Jeb! Yeah, right, do the science. That's what we're here for. Yes, we're going to keep that science. We're going to make a crew report. We record the crew's assessment of the situation. Ah, we're on the moon, we're no way getting back! Ah, help us! It's kind of the assessment, I think. Uh, EVA! Yeah! Let go of that. Oh, I ain't got no jetpack out. See, I'm fairly sure we could get Jeb home with the power of the jetpack. Because after, after all, all we need to do is graze the atmosphere. Uh, moon rocks, yeah. And an EVA report. That one. Awesome, so if we can get home, we've made an awful lot of science. If we can't, we've made an awful big mess. Let's get on board. Huh. And think for a second, I think. Let's have a look at the, uh, the map. I'm fairly sure that's the way I'm supposed to be boosting out. So should we just take off and boost? Save it on the ground. Sweet. Uh, go. We're pointed in roughly the right direction. Um, I have no idea if this is good enough or not. And that's it. That's how far we can get off the moon with the science we've got. Well, thank you very much for joining me for this failed adventure, guys. We'll probably be back in a moment with um, some sort of modification to this system. Oh. 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 We go all the way up. And we slow back down, we go all the way down. Well, goodbye, Jeb. It was great fun working with you. I salute you and your soul. Bye!